This is Coyote News. Tonight on Coyote Sports, the volleyball team went one and one to start Summit League play, and we'll talk with head women's basketball coach Dom Plitzewhite. But first, the headline with Devin Martin. Devin? Thanks, Devin. The University of Louisville has placed men's basketball coach Rick Patino and athletic director Tom Jurich on unpaid administrative leave after the program was linked to a federal investigation into fraud and corruption in recruiting. Yesterday, after a three-year investigation by the FBI, 10 men, including an Adidas executive and four assistant coaches, were charged with using hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes to influence athletes' choice of schools, shoe sponsors, and agents. The four coaches charged are Chuck Person from Auburn, Lamont Evans from Oklahoma State, Emmanuel Richardson from Arizona, and Tony Bland from USC. Federal prosecutors say at least three top recruits were promised up to $150,000 to attend two universities sponsored by Adidas. And Louisville's president confirmed that the school is involved in the investigation. And that is your top headline. Thanks, Devin. While the South Dakota football team didn't play a game, they moved up to number 10 in the FCS coaches poll this week. This is the highest ranking for the Coyotes at the FCS level, and it's the program's highest ranking since reaching number eight in the AFCA Division II poll in 2007. USD is one of five Missouri Valley teams in the top 10 and one of seven in the top 20. The Coyotes travel to take on the 16th ranked Western Illinois Leathernecks this Saturday. USD and Western Illinois are two of only 15 remaining undefeated FCS schools. The volleyball team opened up Summit League play over the weekend with a pair of home matches against Western Illinois and NDSU. The Coyotes topped the Leathernecks in a thrilling five-set match Friday night. Junior Rachel Schmidt led the Coyotes' offensive attack with 18 kills. Haley Dotseth added 14, and Brittany Jessen tallied 56 assists. Saturday night, USD lost in four sets to NDSU. Dotseth finished with 14 kills and 23 digs. Brittany Jessen recorded 44 assists, and her nine digs moved her into 10th place in program history. Libero Ann Rasmussen was named the Summit League Defensive Player of the Week. She tallied 26 digs against Western Illinois and 33 against NDSU. Rasmussen is currently second in the conference for digs per set. Coyote News' Taylor Kidd tells us how hard work, positivity, and friendship is driving the, is driving the women's volleyball team to success this season. The USD volleyball team is off to a great start after their win over Western Illinois at the Summit League opener last Friday. But the team is still in the early stages of the season. With around two more months of games before the conference tournament, the team is preparing for wins. Junior Rachel Schmidt says their season has been full of up and downs, but that the team has come out stronger because of it. We've had a pretty tough preseason, but we've learned a lot from all of our games. We've had some really good competition to grow from and to learn from, and we're looking forward to where our team is headed. The Yotes have many more games left in the season, and Schmidt says there is no shortage of things to look forward to. It's always fun to play our conference uh, opponents because we know those players and we know what to expect, and it's always going to be a battle every single night, and we're looking forward to that. Although the team is excited for conference play, lots of hard work is in order to accomplish their season goals. Part of this preparation includes having the right mindset and staying positive. Each day we say, how can we be the best that we can be today? And then how can we be the best we can for tomorrow? So I think the best thing is that we keep making those strides and we keep making those improvements so that we are the best that we can possibly be by the end of conference. While their love for the game of volleyball is why the team competes, the strong relationships they share keeps the game fun, even when times are tough. I think one of the biggest highlights of our team is that we are such a family. Like We are very close, uh, both on the court and off the court, so it's always fun when we come into practice and when we come into games because you get to play alongside your friends, and even though some days are harder than others, you know that your friends are there to support you through it all. For the Sports Report, I'm Taylor Kidd. The Yotes travel to take on Fort Wayne Friday night and return home Tuesday to battle Oral Roberts. The women's basketball season is just around the corner, and Coyote News' Lauren Solak is live in the muck with head coach Don Plitzewhite to talk about how the team is preparing. Lauren? Thanks, Devin. I'm here with Co Coach Plitzewhite. 
So what does the recruitment process look like for you? Well, since the season's been over, we've spent a lot of time on the road with some young ladies watching them play and then bringing them to campus. And during different times of the season, we're able to go visit them. Other times they come see us. We've been on the road. This is a busy time for us. Our coaches have been on the road since September 9th, quite a few days. We're excited to get those young ladies now on our campus as well. So what kind of preparations do you have to do going into a new season? Well, since we had our last official practice, it's really been close to six months before we'll begin practice again. During that time, our, our young ladies spent a lot of time in the weight room, they spent a lot of time conditioning, and then individual skill work. So we're excited we start practice again on Monday, and we're, we're ready to get back after it again. So do you have any goals for the new season? We absolutely do. Our, our goal is really to focus on the precious present and to get better every day. We have a very challenging schedule this season, in the off season, and the Summit League. So we are, are really gearing up for what's ahead. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. The women's basketball team will have their first game November 10th against Iowa State in Ames, Iowa. Season tickets are now available. Live from the Muck for Coyote News, I'm Lauren Zolik. Thanks, Lauren. The women's golf team took ninth place at the Boston College Intercollegiate this week. Junior Lexi Peterson shot a two under par 73 in the final round to finish in the tie for 15th place. Senior Abby Dufresne tallied two birdies in the final round and finished in a tie for 21st. Carly Kerrigan tied for 51st, Sonny Killian and Katie Bartlett rounded out the Coyotes, finishing 56th and 82nd. The Oats returned to the course Sunday at the Nebraska Chipping Club Invitational. The women's cross country team moved up three spots to eighth in the Midwest region in the latest U.S. track and field cross country coaches association rankings. The Coyotes took fifth place at the Roy Griak Invitational on Saturday. Junior Megan Billington led USD with a 22nd place finish. Lindsey Joyce took 36th. Madeline Huglin finished 54th. Laura Nelson came in 55th. And Kiana Stewart rounded out the Coyotes in 57th place. USD has two weeks off before opening competing at the Bradley Pink Classic in Illinois. 